Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're gonna have a look at an Orsini set. Yet another one. Outer Space. Number 25466, because they don't give their sets names. Though it does come with a pilot. And this one has 117 pieces, considerably less than other uh, sets in this price range and category size of box. Um, the other little spaceship sets that build spaceships have 140 pieces in that range. We get less pieces in this set. Well, okay. Now, what is that? What is that in the middle there? Is that that piece? The bane of my existence? from the red x-wing they couldn't have made the same mistake twice could they? they did no no What is this? This one looks even worse than the red X-Wing. You can tell just by looking at it that it doesn't even fit in with the the pieces around it. And we got these these bracket pieces used with a big gap. What is this? Is this high quality and high performance? That's what it says on the box here. The excellent design, special for your children. Yeah, it's special, all right. The all-exciting new set will give you infinite pleasure. Yeah. Uh, and my bullcrap meter just went into the red. So, we got another crap fest going on here. Just looking at the picture on the box, it's like, what? What did they do here? Now, when I first picked this up in 2015, when I was uh, when I was collecting Lassini sets, um, I didn't even build this. I I built I built my own mock with it, and we're going to be seeing that later on in the video. But uh, for you, I bought another one of these sets, and I built this this model here, and I'm going to show it to you. And here it is. Here is our Asini crap vest. What is this? The guy doesn't even fit in there. Uh, yep, it's that piece. Why do they do this? It's it's that piece from the Red X-wing, reused again, with the gigantic gap between behind the pilot, and uh, we got these these brackets used that is a proper way to, to to put a pilot in there but they're behind them and we got this tile here why not just use another bracket in fact considering all the empty space around this guy here and that this piece doesn't even fit in with the rest of them it's harder to see here than it is on the red x-wing but it doesn't fit in it, it, it doesn't go outward and cover up and meet up with these brackets here. It has no chance of doing that because our guy's in the way. But it wouldn't even be able to do it anyway because I'm looking at a straight overhead view. And there's our piece there. And it's not. it doesn't go out and meet up with those. Like a regular Lego piece should. And then we got this gap that they didn't do anything with back here. Uh... Why not take all those out and just, just have nothing there? Like this. Oh. <laughs> and, and this is attached on one brick. I use one of those uh, Lego pieces with the, with the ridges on it. With a little connector piece with the bar and the clippy clips 
Now what happened? Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Don't push down on it. <laughs> my landing gear's collapsed. Uh, just take them out. It's not much different than having them there. This is this is a crap fest. Another finely stewed crockable crap, courtesy of Orsini. And then you got this tile up front, leaving plenty of. Not that it matters because we can't fit them in there anyway. Photoshopping them in there doesn't mean that we're going to be able to fit them in there. And look at that. You can tell he's, he's, he's photoshopped in there. You can't even see his arm. His arm doesn't even stick out over the uh, the tile. What is this? What, what are the other views? Here's another one. Where he's photoshopped in there. What does it mean we'll be able to fit him in there? And we got this piece here. You, sir, are what we here at the Zix TV refer to as a complete idiot. This piece is terrible. It is an epic failure. An epic failure. This is terrible. The guy that designed this piece is an idiot. Oh, wait. Don't push down. What else have we got here? Uh, we got some printed parts. Printed part tucked down in it. What, what is that? Uh, do the folks that are singing how, know how to make a pilot's cabin? That there has to be walls here and stuff? And it, it, it's out in space. So it shouldn't be open like this. What else have we got? Um, the... Uh, Got stickers on the tail fins there. I guess those are our engines. Um, pretty wimpy looking engines there. The uh, tail fin has one bracket. It's in black. It's hard to see. Why not just? Why not put two brackets there? There's just so much that's wrong with this. It, 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 there's there's a hole there. It's hard to see because, yeah, you can see through it. Why not put two brackets there? And, and need I even mention all this this garbage? I already talked about that. Um, we do have some nice, uh, a nice yellow tile that's uh, transparent. That's pretty nice. We got a printed part with some arrows on it. It looks to be kind of smudged. Let's have a closer look. There it is. In all of its smudged glory. So, add that to the uh, list of things that can go wrong in an Ossini set. A smudged printed part. There's the one over there. Looks to be kind of uh, off-center there. Other details we got these parts that are tucked down in because it's a slopey slope. We got a sticker covering a two by four, and then there's a one by two slopey slope there. And I put these stickers on wrong. This one should go on the opposite side, and vice versa. With our graphics there, and then we got a sticker up front that goes get the glare off it goes on this piece and across these tiles here and across this uh, 2x4 tile and uh, I did a bad job of, I was trying to cut it in half with my scissors but I, I didn't do that good of a job of uh, I didn't do it right so I cut off this part, started putting it on there, cut off this part, then wrapped this part. Something happened to it. Get on there. Wrapped this part on the edge, and then tried to 
cover up the tiles there and then the rest of it covers up this tile we got the same nonsense on the other side covering uh, two different parts we got that and at least they give you little levers for your pilot I have to say that but it doesn't matter all that much because his canopy breaks off yeah in addition to not being able to fit over it I've tried in a variety of ways but uh, this just does not work uh, not to mention it leaves all these all these gaps and stuff then underneath we got what is this an airplane is it, it, they, they treat it like an airplane like it would need a runway and landing wheels uh, it's a spaceship it would just vertical take off and land like in Star Wars we got some old best lock parts these are these are old best lock parts my, my wheel is coming off. Yeah. They, they just take this, this 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 hub here and you put the wheel on it, but there isn't anything really holding it. Yeah, I can push it in there. This is an old best lock part. I'm familiar with that. Seen that before on best lock spaceships during the 2000s. Rossini, I think, is the new best lock. I spoke too soon about uh, Block Tech. Block Tech at least has some good quality, and it's the model design that's really lacking. Uh, Rossini has, uh, yeah, what does it say on the box? High quality and high performance like puke coming out of this guy's ear I'll show you some high quality and high performance later on in this video at the moment um, that's about it for this starfighter and it, it really they're not using the boat underside pieces it could benefit from that uh, with the cutouts so that you can fit your guy in there we're just building on top of plates um, yeah so that's where the Zix comes in. This is the uh, th this is the original model. Now, when I first picked this up in 2015, when I was uh, collecting Ossini space stuff and Ossini other stuff, I didn't even build this. I knew it was gonna suck just by looking at the picture there. I mean, yeah, that says it all. So I did a mock, is what I did. So let's have a look at that. And here is my mock. Set this nonsense aside. This is what I did in 2015 when I first picked up this set. Um. use a proper canopy not this nonsense here this nonsensical weirdness use a proper canopy that's an old best lock canopy we used um, got my guy in there gave him some controls it's not quite as uh, detailed as some of my other Ossini mocks but uh, whatever gave him some little control panels in there and we got the the uh, the brackets on the side with room for his arms to be in there in a comfortable position and we can close up our canopy over him redid this back part beefed it up a bit more than just a, a little a little brick and use some parts from other Ossini space sets with some decorations there and took this part which was buried in the back there 
put it on the side there took the part from the uh, the insectoid put it on top there and doctored this sticker here I didn't really I just gave up on it I didn't I didn't cut it off here there's you can see there's different plates or tiles you can see there's different tiles I did not I just gave up on it and I gave up on these two and it, it covers a, a two two by four slopey slope and then there's a one by four slopey slope there forming a five by five by uh, two slopey slope I get that right two by four slopey slope one by two slopey slope five by two slopey slope yep and I put these on the wings just to I don't know I don't know if it's an improvement but it's what I did took them from a different Ossini set uh, the rest is pretty much uh, the same we got our we got our landing gears oh and I put these engines in the back because these are just wimpy and I used two brackets back here so this is that, that's on two brackets in the back there and it looks like I, I did some took some pieces from other Rossini sets and just smoothed it out in the back there kind of it's hard to see because it's black but it, the parts that uh, curvy wervy parts and the way that theirs is is this block type stuff in the back here let's have a closer look at the details here are my details in the pilot's cabin. We got some old dust lock stickers used as control panels. We got some kind of readout display there with some buttons and we got a radar display. And then uh, and there's our guy. He uh, fits in there kind of reclining just a bit and he fits got some details there's that part from the insectoid there's our wings with all these graphics on them graphics up front there's the proper way that that, that those should be graphics up front and our blaster cannons they just use some antennas they used a bracket some antennas and a bracket and these tubes in the end so that is my mock that I did in 2015 when I was collecting Ossini space stuff didn't even bother to assemble theirs because because it's awful Got together my Assini stuff. This is 100% Assini stuff, by the way. I don't mix brands, so when I set out to do a mock, it's uh, it's all Assini bricks and plates and stuff. Yep. It's not too hard when you know what to do. Uh, use use a proper canopy there, and. Uh, like always, I tucked them in there where I wanted him to, wanted him to be, and then uh, built around him. and And the stickers go on last when I'm 100% uh, sure that's how I want it to be. And it just works. Put me on the design team, Coach. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't want to do this for a job. This is fun. This is the Zix having fun. Modifying stuff. Making it better. <clears throat> and that's... That's my... That's my... 
That's my mark. As for this nonsense, I know exactly what to do with it. Mm. Are there any starfighters are attacking? All starfighters launch and defend our base. Roger, roger. your targets. Roger, roger. Poof. Target down. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. You go, battle droid. Well, he's not a battle droid. He's a droid starfighter. I will be featuring this droid starfighter in its own video. And I will be doing a let's build for him uh, in the future. Uh, at the moment, consider this a sneak peek. Thank you for watching.